the dog days of summer are still here. The Rangers still haven't re-signed Laffey. Panarin learned how to shoot, and Jeff Petrie got traded for a second time. That's about it. So we're going to do something different. We're going to do a reaction video. We tried to do a TikTok cringe reaction video 20 minutes ago. Did not go well. Turns out humans are a lot cringier than I thought they'd be. And I don't feel like getting canceled today. So we're going to react to the NHL Network redrafting the 2016 NHL entry draft. <sighs> okay. This is the actual 2016 NHL entry draft. We're just going to look at round one. What did you, you say? They did one through five? I think, yeah, one through five. So this is what round one looks like. Um, Matthews, Line, Dubois, Pugliarvi, Ali, Ewell Levy. I doubt that stays the same. That's, it, it's going to be interesting, but uh, I'll I'll, uh, I'll link this video in the description down below so you guys could all watch it, comment it, and just, you know, gab whatever you guys want to gab about. But now it's our turn. Ready, set, go. Let's do it. We want to go back to the 2016 draft, which is, what do we got, about seven years ago now. And, which uh, is a good time to redraft. I think seven years is a good litmus, right? Because then the players 10, like 24, 25. significant names up there. Yeah. Jasper Brat also on that list. Jasper? Is it, isn't it Jasper? Where did the A He's come from? It's EJ Karatek. What do you expect? Contract, but we're going to do now with the with the benefit we're of having time. Some fun. With the benefit of time. I like Ken Danico. Easier to I like Mike Rupp. Guys have had we love for upper. Careers, not a big fan of EJ Karatek. So go Definitely back. not. They're going to go to the top five players in that draft. And Mike, we're going to start at the top. Number one pick. You're on the clock. I start with one or number I start one. with five? You're starting with start number one. one. All right, right to the board. One. I don't think it changes. I yeah. think it's Austin Matthews. Yeah, yeah. fair. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who you could put in his spot. Than what it was when he got Fox dropped. is like the only argument I could think Austin of. Still yeah, premier, Fox premier and Kachuk. It's yeah. not now the greatest Toronto Maple Leaf to, to ever play. I mean, I think you need to have some some success in the playoffs. I don't think there's, there's going to be any discrepancy deal. here. I, I think, think they're all going to say Matthews, Matthews is the clear cut one for me. Pure goal scorer. Outstanding player, love him. But believe it or not, maybe I'm looking. Yep, at there's Danica for you. Recency bias. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's a gamer. The guy played through a broken sternum. A this gamer. was a good ass draft, though, dude. Uh, he's a guy that yeah, brings underrated. His team mm -hmm. into the fight. So right now, if you're asking me, uh, I'm going with Matthew Kachuk. Break the tie each. Break All right, I'll break the tie. I'm gonna Move go your cursor a bit to the volume. So things on the screen. Number one centerman are hard to find. He had six goals in the league. No, no, you're Position you're matters a little bit. It matters matters matters. Matters to me. Okay. Centers and defense matter a lot to me. So, you know, Matthews. Yeah, the team. Six I, I mean, I think Matthews is clear cut yet, number you know one. What? I. I like Kachuk a lot, but I don't like him more than Matthews. I mean, the consensus has to be Matthews, Kachuk, Fox, in yeah. whatever order. Right. Unless I'm forgetting someone, obvious. McAvoy uh, at four. It was really tight. And I don't yeah. think up until Fair. maybe the last year, year and a half, that we necessarily would have thought that to be the case. With yeah. Kachuk and Austin Matthews. But you mentioned it, Dano. Like, this guy has willed his team to the Stanley Cup Finals, and he changes the dynamic of a hockey club. Uh, he's my number two in that draft. It's all about winning. That's why I picked him number I one. Agree. My number two is your guy's number one. Yeah, you got I mean, yeah. uh, arguably This is the not, easy one, too. Unless EJ box, goes off the board and takes Fox at two, which is possible because he was a Rangers guy at one point. Best I think... For my money, yeah, I, I mean, Austin Matthews. It's hard to argue. Fox is splitting hairs. Yeah, absolutely. I got top two. Chuck at two, and I agree with what Mike. When it comes to the defense, yeah, now, fair. All right. If three is not Fox, we're going to have problems. Yeah. So we're yeah. going to have problems unless, like I said, I'm forgetting someone. Uh, I don't know if anyone better than Fox. I can't think of anyone. One through two, one and two. Let's get to number three. I'm scared. I think this is where we're going to start having. Okay, all right. What do you got? What well, we pick? I'm going Adam Fox. Yeah. There you okay. go. That's my guy. Good That's rocker. My guy. That's my guy, rocker. He's so composed. Mm -hmm. Quite frankly, I've been really impressed last. Ken's not picking Fox. Really well. mm -hmm. I, don't think I promise he was not picking Fox. I don't think he is. No. Although I mean, I don't know. Sometimes Danico's fair, dude. But I, I don't know. Yeah, but I, I I don't see it here. Adam Fox, I got three. Just to clarify, we didn't see each other's picks before this. No, we did not. I'm with you, Rupert. Yeah, Foxy, yeah. Oh, yep. okay. Adam Fox, W. Adam w. Ken. Watch EJ doesn't pick Fox. No, man, like the only guy I had slayed the pick Fox. Not too many of them out there that can do what Adam Fox can do, and the puck is on his stick a lot. 
the poise, the pace. I fucking love Fox, dude. I had we got so lucky. The best in the National Hockey League. Ironically, wearing the a Fox North shirt right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey, oh, I'm sorry. I just want to tell you, you got Pierre Luc Dubois on there. That was the original, the original number, the original three. number three. And uh, I, I want to say this because he's not on my list. I'll throw that out there yeah. now because he's made it very clear he wants to play for one team in this league, and he's not happy anywhere he is. So we're taking <laughs> damn. The knowledge we have wow, right. he sounds like us <laughs> from the top <laughs> ropes. He sounds like us. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go Cage Thompson. Oh my God, EJ Raddick is such a Fuck dick. Fuck out of here. Listen, I love Tage, but dude, EJ, you're a fucking really dick. Tage at three? No. Come I'd on. consider having Tage at four, but I don't know if I have today, if I have Tage over McAvoy, over Fox. Uh, Charlie McAvoy. I'm going Charlie McAvoy uh, at, uh, at even, four because he's definitely uh, higher than Keller, but. He's got physicality. The okay, way McAvoy. The Brinket, I don't know. There's a lot of good players in this draft. McAvoy's not bad for number four. Yeah. I think McAvoy at four is an excellent. I would maybe stick with Pulley Arby, though, here. <laughs> He's a late bloomer, but I'm going with Tage Thompson as well. I think number four, EJ, from the standpoint of everything you said. I don't know. I think I love Tage, but, I mean, people don't talk about how Incredible shot. Little of an impact he has on the other end of the puck, and I know his offense is good, but it's like he is so nasty, though, dude. He's he might be the captain of the hands team. Well, the season coming up, but just love Paige Thomas' development, and we're talking about right now, yeah. not about what he's done in the last five years. Yeah. Right now, yeah, I, number one, right there. number one center is just hard to find. Uh, number four for me, I'm gonna go with Charlie McAvoy as well. Dude, e I'm EJ is a couple of defensemen here. Jerk. Over five, Fox, but, wow. Me, you know, it's about trying to win the Stanley Cup. I hope Rupper fucking ripped them a new one offset. Yeah. Or I hope he just, just does it. He just jerseyed him in his suit. So, uh, Charlie McAvoy <laughs> for me at number four. Number five, Mike Rupp. Number five, Mikhail Sergachev. Ah, and if you go back to uh, Sergey. Yeah. Over Kevin, Keller? Sergachev. Yeah, actually, yeah, over he Keller right now. In his salary. Yeah. But that's given this guy more reps. Sergachev's so underrated. Uh, yeah, Sergachev's fucking good. Oh, come on. Why do you have to include a clip like, where Mott's upset? Come on. Uh, right, of course. It's not nice. <laughs> Robert, we, uh, Keller to bring it. I would. Monday morning I don't know. I, I'm starting to get on the side that the bring it's a little, just a tad overrated. He's yeah. good, but I'm on the train where he's a tad overrated. If it's yeah. a fox at five here for EJ, I'm throwing something. I'm just saying. He's got one of the best wrist shots from the point at getting it through, and again. I think sky's the limit. I agree with you. He's a mean He's only me getting too. better and better. Yeah. He's mean. He's mean. I like that. Plays the game any way you want it. That size, that length, that reach. Uh, and I think his offensive. He's a great, great player. So He's going to continue. He's to so good. Yeah. Well uh, liked by his teammates. Experience, although he's been around a long time, because he came in the league relatively young. Yeah, what a great, what a great acquisition from the Montreal Canadiens. Yeah. Uh, originally drafted by Montreal and, and Tampa has been a yeah and the Jonathan Drew. EJ yeah. don't do this. For me, I did decide to go with Adam Fox at five. It was close. I thought about Sergeyev as well. So ridiculous that he's a slow. The fact that like he even like just said out loud he had to think between Fox and Sergeyev blows my mind. Dude, Sergeyev is ridiculously good, but I don't think he's Adam Fox good. Fox is so. Overhated yeah. and underrated. And that's a huge Overhated, underrated. I don't know. Like he's, he's I just don't guy. understand. Like I saw a post earlier where these Avs fans are like, "Oh, McCarr's miles ahead of Fox." It's like, no, they're pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> when you look at their overall game, defense, offense, all things included. Yeah. Like I'll give McCarr the slight edge. I'll give him the slight edge, but like. Yeah, I mean, we got some uh, influence too. Obviously, right? I, I want to say Fox, but it's like they're closer than Avs fans yeah. make it out today. I agree. Ones. You get a boatload of them in your organization. You could swap them out, trade yep. those picks. You get a lot of See, I, I tend to agree with with Rupp's list, I think, the most. Uh, yeah, Rupp, Rupp had the best list. I, I Yeah, I, and Danico was was good aside from Kachuk over Matthews. I could see how that would be a conversation if you're using recency bias with with what Kachuk did this year, like literally putting the Florida Panthers on his back. I just don't think there's a realm where you could argue Matthews is not the consensus number one in that draft. Yeah, I agree with that. I Tough, dude. I'm the not... guy scored 60 goals. 
I'm not with that. We gotta what? do some redrafts. Yeah, dude. I I fuck it. You know what here? Are we gonna do our own redraft quickly? Yeah, yeah we'll do, we'll I'll open up. Uh, I'll do. Uh, what is it on? On cap friendly. Uh... Can't you do like a draft simulator? Yep. Okay. Entry draft simulator. Here we go. We'll do create mock. We'll go twenty sixty. I am not a robot. I promise. On jaw. I'm gonna share the screen real quick. Okay. Oh, we're gonna do one. So the twenty sixteen. Okay. So I, we have Matthews at one, right? Yeah, Matthews at one easily. Okay. Uh, Kachuk at two. Kachuk, yeah. And then Fox, Fox at, at three. three. I think that's fair. I, I I don't I don't see anything wrong with that. I and I would venture to say, um, McAvoy is four. What do you think? Um. Who do you have? Who do you have? I, my uh, Julian Gauthier's there, man. I don't know. I know it's t- it's tough to look him off. I, uh, I need to like get a list of the full board. Yeah, pull up on Hockey DB. You can sort by games played, points, and all that. Oh, you can. Thank mm-hmm. God. That will make life uh, easier. Great, great conversation here yeah <laughs> i'm actually gonna pull it up too because i did not have it pulled up all right there we go um that makes life a lot easier i i'm kind of leaning call me crazy i would lean towards keller i'm gonna say keller at four i lean towards keller at four all right we'll do keller four mcavoy five yeah I think McAvoy five is a good spot. Um, now, I I would say Sergachev here. Unless you want to go Tage, with I'd Tage. go Tage. You go Tage first? Okay. I would go Tage and then Sergachev personally. So Tage, Sergey. Um then do you put in Debrinket? Or do you go Jordan Cairo? I'll go Debrinket. Debrink, okay. I'm a big Jordan Cairo guy. So am I. I think Cairo next, though. Yeah. Debrink it. Uh, come on. Cairo. We have a bit of a drop off coming soon, though. Yeah, we do. Because now we're at, what are we at? 10? Yeah. Uh, you put Dubois here. You could do Dubois. I have Dubois over Chikrin. I think you go Dubois here. I'd go Dubois. Chikrin, Brett. Okay. Dubois. Chikrin. Brett to the devil still, of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, natural. Gets a little bit tougher is here. Ryan Lindgren really like the next pick here? Um, I, I would go... I'd go Lingren, Lingren, Gerard. I'd go Ronick. Lingren. Oh, dude, we forgot about Patrick Line too. Yeah, Line. Yeah, I would Line. Put, okay, get Brett out and put Line yeah. ahead of him. Oh, you can't just fucking... no. Just press the X next to that. Yeah, and then do it that way. Oh, gotcha. Oh, uh, you have to X out Line too. All right, Line there, and then yeah. Brett. I think that's better. I feel better about that. And then I, I would go, I'd go Lindgren, uh, Hronick, and Gerard, and in and, and any order, in any order. Hagel's a sleeper here too. Oh fuck! Uh, maybe, maybe Hagel in front of all of them. Yeah, I could get behind that. So we go Hagel, and then do we do Hronick, Lindgren, or Gerard? Why well, I'm saying Lindgren. <laughs> Lindgren, and then probably Gerard. Yeah, and then Ronick. Oops, he is not going to do that. Uh, did it go? And then next, and after that, I think Ross Colton has to be the guy. Yep. Carter Hart at 19. I don't know if there's anyone better than Hart on this list right now. Oh, I forgot about uh, goalies. Yeah. Is there any notable goalies outside of that? Nope. Great. All right. Um... I mean, we're looking at like 
Brandon Tyson the Bright Jost. Howden territory. This yeah, is bad. like Jost Howden. Dubé. Yeah. Uli RV. Yeah, this, this is the big drop. This is the big drop off now. I would go Dante Fabro, maybe. Fabro's you put Fabro here? Yeah. I think if you put Fabro, you got to follow it with Jost. Yeah. We'll only do the first round. Yeah, I'm not going beyond the first round. I don't have the mental capacity for that. Um, yeah, Sean Day. I'm just <laughs> oh, how did we forget about Sean Day? No, oh, goes here. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right, and then we go Hayek, Howden, Gauthier. Right, right, right. Do you? I maybe Luke Cunning here. You go Cunning, pull the RV, Dubay. Or do yeah. Bay, Conan, Pulley, RV? Conan, Pulley, RV, Dubai. Okay, we were kind of wrong. This draft class isn't underrated. Yeah, it's not. It's, pretty it, it's it, after after <laughs> it's top here, heavy. it gets weak. Right. I, I, for 20 back, it gets a little... It slows down. I, I mean, Is I Sam guess... Is still the next pick? Like, or <sighs> Michael McLeod? Trent Frederick's underrated. I'd go with him here. Yeah, I'd say Frederick. After Frederick, I think Frederick, then you go uh, Howden, McLeod, Mete. Uh, Andrew Peaks kind of underrated, too. He's all right. Mm. Peak Howden? I don't know. I, I kind of like... kind of like Steel more than yeah. Howden. So what do we do? Steel, Mete, Howden. Yeah. Yeah, this draft really fucking falls off hard here. And then I guess McLeod. Yep. And then Max Jones. I... And then Asplund, maybe? Yeah, because I guess he still has a little bit. Oh, no. Noah Gregor. And Nathan yeah. Bastian are there, too. All right, go with Gregor. Gregor. I want to see what everyone, like what teams everyone's on after this, let's say. So, top to bottom, you go... Matthews to shock to, on Winnipeg. That ooh, pulled fall. Oh, I don't like Fox on Columbus. That's scary. Keller on Edmonton. Now that's what's funny is this was the original pick the Rangers were trying to trade up to to draft Clayton Keller. Yep, of course. McAvoy to how interesting that be. Mac, both, Mac, it would have benefited both teams if they did that trade. Yeah, dude, a hundred percent. That would have been dude. Imagine McAvoy and Quinn Hughes. That'd be kind of nasty. Yeah, that Tate would be to Calgary. A Sergeyev the Arizona it doesn't save them, but it helps them. To bring it in Buffalo, I could actually see it at some point. Yep. Cairo in Montreal, scary. Dubois in Colorado would be weird, but it, like weirdly it would work. Chickren's already in Ottawa. Yep. Line eight of the Devils. No, please no. Yeah. Brett to Carolina. So the Metro gets screwed. Hagel and Boston could have been scary this That's year. That's a problem. They That's needed the help. Lindgren to his hometown. Interesting fit. Yeah, because that's like his hometown. Yeah, that's how. Gerard to Arizona. Ronick to Nashville. Ross Colton to Winnipeg. That would suck. For uh, him, yeah. Carter Hart with the Islanders. Fabro no. to the for the Wings. Isn't Fabro on? No, he got traded somewhere else. Where did Fabro get traded? No, I saw on Nashville. I thought he got traded for some reason. Jost to Carolina. Carolina. Cunning to Philly. Pulley Arbor to Phil, uh, Florida. Dubay to Anaheim. He'd be kind of nice with Zegras because Dubay does look he have good hands. Uh, Frederick, Frederick Dallas. Dallas would be a good fit. Yeah, I think, dude, I think he fits in perfect there with like the Jamie Ben mold. Uh, Steele in uh, St. Louis. Mete in Tampa. It's a mid pick. Howard in Washington. Pray for that. McLeod in Boston and Gregor in Anaheim. I think it's a fair redraft, dude. We didn't really leave anybody on the board that was like. You know, worth fawning over. Yeah. I agree. This is a weak draft. Yeah, that was a bad draft. 
Like the top 20 is great. But after 20, it's like uh, big fall off. Yeah, 100%. That was a fun video. We, we got to do more of these. Hell, maybe we'll do another one uh, sometime this week. But until content gets interesting, guys, this is what you're going to be getting is reactions and redrafts. So just enjoy the content. This is what we got. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Deuces.